Hello, ready for your daily devotion. I come to you from another bedroom now at my parents' house. Uh, an update on my dad, he's doing very, very well, getting around really well. He's tired a lot, obviously, um, and sore, but doing very well, and I appreciate all the prayers that you've offered in his name. So, and thank you to Michael for yesterday's devotional, which was great. Um, we continue the theme this week of the chipped cup, uh, but this week I chose, or today I decided to choose uh, the cup of wisdom. And the way I saw that connected and the way the devotional saw that connected um, is I think we gain a lot of wisdom from the things that have chipped us, um, that have uh, banged us up, and those can be a variety of things, and some of those things may have happened this week uh, and offered us some chips, but... I think those chips also lead to a level of wisdom, and that wisdom often leads us to the ultimate wisdom, uh, which is God. And I also think that wisdom often invites us um, to get quiet and to listen, both to trust our own inner voice, but also to be listening for the wisdom that comes from God. And I think right now, uh, we can be listening to lots of things, lots of sources, uh, lots of fear, lots of anxiety. I'm trying my best to listen to um, wise and thoughtful uh, advice and uh, advisors. Uh, I've listened to Martin, who uh, is our board chair, but also obviously at the front line at the hospital. Uh, I got a wonderful chance to listen to my clergy group uh, in an online meeting yesterday. Um, to hear where people are all around the state uh, and to meet with my mentors, who are three uh, very wise pastors with a lot more experience than me. Um, and they brought a lot of comfort and a lot of peace um, and trust that we are all doing our best with what we have, uh, where we are, whatever that might be. Um, and the Cup of Wisdom reminds me, like I said, that we have the ultimate guide in God, uh, that even though we are often separate from each other and from our community, that nothing separates us from the wisdom of God. And that can be accessed in lots of ways, obviously through prayer and through meditation and silence, but uh, you can always pick up your Bible and find lots of good wisdom in there. In the Psalms, we'll be reading a Psalm at worship this Sunday. Um, the Psalms remind us that Humans have experienced all different kinds of emotions uh, for as long as we've been human. So I encourage you uh, to look at that. I sent off my second card today to one of our uh, homebound members. If hopefully you are also doing that, if you are, please let me know in the comments below. Um, but also, uh, I'm going to be in the office today for just a short amount of time. Uh, but I'm going to pick up the food that we had already collected for the Center for Lay Ministries for our 40 days of Lent. Um, I talked to Kara there. They are still serving people through drive through so she encouraged us to continue uh, to collect food for that. Obviously not in super large amounts, uh, but if you can buy an additional one or two things and collect them over the next week or two, uh, you are either invited to drop them off at the center yourself through the drive through between 9 and 2 p.m., or if that is uh, not possible for you, you can leave the box outside the church uh, and we will deliver it for you because um, people are still in need uh, and still need uh, groceries and things to eat to get them through this month, whether there uh, is a virus or not, uh, or we're trying to self-isolate. So uh, I offer you this encouragement and uh, hopefully the wisdom that we have already done many hard things together. Uh, and we can do this as well, um, that we have uh, the ultimate guide in God who will walk us through this and walk with us uh, as we find new and creative ways to um, walk through this together. So I'll close our devotion with just a moment of prayer. Let's take a deep breath and center ourselves. steadfast and everlasting God. We know that you are with us wherever we are, that your presence is always and forever. 
Help us to trust that you are our ultimate guide, that your wisdom can fill us also with wisdom to make the choices in the days and the weeks ahead. Help us find ways to find our center. And when we find it, may we find you as well. We know that we can listen to all kinds of voices, voices of fear and stress and anxiety, but help us also to hear your voice, which promises peace, which invites us to not be afraid as best we can to make the next right decision from a place of wisdom and thoughtfulness and in prayer. We ask all these things in the beautiful name of our Savior. Amen. May you be well, my friends, and I will see you tomorrow.